It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. It's in beautiful Glendora, California. I love your city, Corey Ellenson. I love getting off Grand Avenue and seeing the mountains. And he is the vice president of the Glendora School Board, also a nominee for the California State Assembly. That's right. Um, so let's talk about why you're looking to go to Sacramento. Sure. Why are you looking? Well, on some of those difficult days, I ask myself the <laughs> right, same thing, right. right? Getting home after knocking on doors for right, hours and hours right. and hours. But uh, for us, it's an opportunity to serve the community in a really impactful way. Right. That's why I ran for school board to begin with. I wanted to devote myself to serving the children of our community, using all of my skills and experience to help them in a meaningful way. Sure. And this is that same opportunity to expand upon that. So you're knocking on doors. Oh, and yeah. I want to ask you, when you knock yeah. and someone takes the knock, yeah. what are they saying to you? What's on their minds? Yeah. Well, first they look at you like, who are you? Right. What are you doing? What do you right. want from me? What right. are you selling? But once they get past right. that. And, um, and you're right. What I do is I, I introduce myself and I tell them I'm running for state assembly, right. but I'm here to hear from you. How can I be a good representative of yours in Sacramento? And they usually tell me one of three things. They, Please. Right, they want public schools. Okay. Right, People here, are yeah. they count on good public schools for their kids' future. Right. Um, jobs in the economy. Uh, we've recovered. We've survived the recession, but we're not yeah. thriving after it. People yeah. are still just barely getting by and crime. People are seeing increased crime rates across the valley, and it's something that they want their state assemblymen to be working on. So let's talk about schools then, because I mean, you remember five years ago, the deficits sure. that the state was facing was just decimating our schools. Now we're in a better place. We have Prop 30 that helped out, um, but Prop 30 is expiring, right. at least the sales tax portion of it. That's the right. chunk of it. You know, we, we do see the extension for millionaires being on the ballot in November. Right. Are you concerned about that? revenue disappearing in terms of the school board side? Absolutely, I mean, and you're right. After 2008, the cuts that our school district had, that every school district had, were terrible. And it, it cut into our bottom line tremendously. And we had to downsize and, and reduce the services we were able to provide for our kids. And you're right, with Prop 30, they have gotten us back up to where we were in 2008. Now, to be honest, 2008 wasn't a great place right, to begin right, with right, already. Right. We were still underfunded in terms of how much we are giving per student. But it's, it's good to be back there. It's good to have restored some positions and programs. But let me ask you, Corey, I'm sure you know this, education is such a favored child right. uh, in Sacramento, especially vis-a-vis -vis the governor, that some folks are feeling as if, wait, it's enough. We've restored education. Let's start restoring other stuff. Well, so help me. I think help the reason me. that that is the case is because uh, Sacramento tends to use education because it pulls at our heartstrings. Right. Um, when, when we're having cuts and they cut education, we all feel it. Our kids feel it. It's tremendous. And to, to restore funding, to get a proposition to pass, if you link it to kids and students, then you're going to have the will of the people behind you because education is so right. important. There's a construction bond on the ballot statewide, mm -hmm. school, school bond. construction right. bond. Interestingly, the governor at this point is neutral on it. We don't know where he's going to go. What do you make of it? The school construction bond. Right. Well, I think Governor Brown had alternately proposed something different. Right. right. He had wanted a different bond that didn't quite make it, so we're on this one. We need. We have facilities needs. All of these school districts here, I'm a Glendora School Board member, but in the 48th Assembly District, mm -hmm. our facilities are very dated, and right. we all have needs. Individual school districts are considering and going out for bonds on their right. own, but we could certainly benefit from a statewide bond if and there's I some money for think us. Think about the 48th, and it really is a district with so many different socioeconomic levels within it and so I, I know from what you say are you hearing that as you march around through the different neighborhoods yeah I'm, I'm hearing a need for those facilities no matter where I go I mean I can be in some of the toughest neighborhoods in the district in some of the most um, um, poverty stricken right. areas and then I can be in Bradbury which is one right. of the wealthiest zip codes in the United States and yet across the board people agree um, the San Gabriel Valley is the promise of good public schools, a safe place to raise your family, and an opportunity to be successful in your career. And all they want is their representatives to go up to Sacramento and make that promise come true for them. His name is Corey Ellenson, Vice President of the Glendora School Board candidate, nominee for California Assembly. Brad Pomerantz here, Local Edition.